Hey guys, Waller D here. We're back for more Torok Dinosaur Hunter. Now we're going to do more of this. More of level 6, the treetop village. And you're wondering, where the fuck is the treetop village exactly? Well, good news is, is that we are now to the point where you can actually call this level the treetop village. Mostly it was more, mostly it was cliff diving, but look at this. Wait, I'm on a fucking elevator and it's in a fucking tree? Yeah! Already liking this level already. So yes, we are now officially in a treetop village, and this is probably one of the best parts about the game, because it literally throws you into something like you would see in Donkey Kong Country. That is amazing. I mean, great, granted it's not the most, it's not the best looking treetop village, but I, you have to... You have to admit that it has a lot of charm to it, and it definitely has a lot of atmosphere in terms of the theme. But the things I should tell you about the treetop village, you have to be really fucking careful here. There are a lot of enemies uh, doing this little... St if, and also I will re remind you of the whole pressing or double tapping right or, or C left or C right means you're going to do this little nice little hop that will pretty much make you fall into... A death pit if you're not careful. So you have to really be careful about that. What's up, buddy? It would also be helpful to get yourself some uh, clips of ammo. Oh damn it! Fuck off. You don't want to. You try. Don't want to try to react too fast to anyone shooting you in the back and surprising your ass because that means you might just fly right the fuck off if you react the wrong way. Very dangerous. Okay, wh where's the enemies? Fuck yes. Usually when I get tech arrows, I mean I have to fight some fucking douchebags, like Perlins, in some cases. Please die. Alright, you're dead, and now I'm lagging really bad, what the hell. Okay, so far so good. And you have this part where you, if you really want to, you can jump over here. I would honestly suggest doing so if you want to take... Damn it, game, stop giving me a cheat. I don't want a cheat, game. Fuck off. Of course, you want to be careful up on these cliffs because, again, what the hell? That guy just suddenly appeared, or at least I didn't see his ass. Mm, game. Stop. Give me that fucking shotgun shells. And of course, we get the nice little freaking alien weapon. I just want to show off this weapon and how not good it is. Let's use it on you. Yeah, it takes about three shots, and you know I have 50, or have 85 ammo now. If I were to use a freaking pulse rifle and it would take less, you'd now know what the, the big difference between using this weapon and the other one. And more tech ammo is great. Along with more fucking grenades. I swear, the grenade launcher is so damn great in this game. Because once you get the grenade launcher, you can start sending people into fucking orbit. Yeah! Now let's go down here real fast. Surprise around the corner? No. Surprise over here, though. Fuck you guys, yeah. Kinda nice getting this damn shotgun in my possession. Alright. Wait, what? Ah, oh, damn it, you! Fuck! Damn it! Yeah, fuck you, buddy! Didn't think you'd get blasted all over the kingdom come, bitch! Girl! I think so I was just heading to the right real fast. I think there's some good stuff over here. Fuck you, fuck you. I swear this pulse rifle is really nice, but the ammo is kind of bleh sometimes. And you're dead. Oh, what the hell, game? That's just kind of cheesy right there. It's like, hey, we just stick a freaking campaigner soldier inside a damn small ass hut, so if you pop your head in there, it's like, why am I getting shot from taking all this damn. Oh shit. Yeah, that kind of surprise. Not a fun surprise to have, honestly. Alright, let's see. You really gotta be careful. You gotta really be aware of your surroundings because if you do that, you at least will have some hope of living long. Ooh, more ammo. Fuck yes. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? Damn it! And it just disappears. What the fuck, man? Okay, so we have little spiked logs swinging down now. Should have freaking figured since. So yeah, then watch out for those damn traps. And you really have to watch your footing here, because this is where this kind of area is where you can usually die in the dumbest of fashions. Not good. Alright, getting this shit. 
Wait, I think I've been over the wow, really? The jump's really not worth it, is it? Yeah, don't even try don't try to make jumps here unless unless the game is really implying that you should. This jump is just impossible to make and obviously we've been over there if you could see that little blue cross. So yeah, just focus on living and making the right moves at oh Graham gets shot at fuck. He goes all that ammo I could have got to save for later, damn you bastard. So yeah, really be careful around here, shit. And I already got that. Thank you. And though, this is a really fun area. I mean, the... Of course, the whole lightning effect is kind of shitty. This is why I will warn you guys. Uh, if you are sensitive to... Uh, are you, if you're having that photosensitive uh, epilepsy at all, this is not a good... This is not a good thing to look at, honestly. I mean... Um, I would really like you to watch the video, but if you really have those kind of those kind of uh, conditions, uh, I would highly advise you not to watch this video just because of that. Because it gets really flashy and really light, bright here, and it's like shit. Gotta look away. So yeah, that's the only real big issue about this game is that it's it's not for the those that are sensitive to that sort of thing, because this game just flashes and trips all over the damn place. Kind of the problem. Now, nah, thank god, a fucking checkpoint with two guys in front of it. Too bad they're two easy guys to kill. And we're now with at a checkpoint. Thank go- The fuck? The hell? Who's shooting at me? You little prick. You don't like that shit? <clears throat> Punk. So yeah, just the thing that sh people can just like snipe you and grenade your ass from all sorts of differences or distances. We got more of this shit. Oh damn it, campaign your soldier, fuck. Let's do this test. Look at that. That took so much less shots to kill that guy as opposed to the freaking alien weapon. What a downgrade of a weapon that is. So yeah, there's the proof. Don't use a fucking alien weapon. Do -do -do -do. Damn, this is a long-ass bridge. Holy shit. Fuck off. Oh, who shoot me? Behind me? Where the fuck did you pop up from? I guess you, you were the third guy that dropped down. Also, do not lean towards the freaking railings. You could just fall right the fuck off if you hit a wrong bump and you... The game really does this, huh? Puts a freaking wizard or freaking priest on a... Small section of bridge. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Damn. Oh, shit. No, fuck. Ow. Damn it. I knew I heard that noise. You have to really keep an ear out for that damn thing, because it's, like, so sudden. Dip Though, again, if there's railings knocked down, just be wary of it. Okay, so far, so good. Oh, shit. You. Mmm, punk. Yeah. My plaz my pulse rifle's better than your fucking pulse rifle, bitch. Alright. Of course I miss. Ooh, a key. Fucking you. Oh okay. shit. Yeah, if you don't do that double hop thing, man. That thing is like a freaking curse here. Cause if you just might double hop off the fucking edge. And be sure to kill the guys before you grab the key, cause obviously if you're you're like and all of your key collection, it's going to be really rough when you get out of the thing. And Korok find level 7 key, yes! And now there's only two more keys left to find. And let's check the key. What the fuck, I have the last key in the level? What the hell? Oh, that's not good. Okay, I better find some other keys soon or else I'm really fucked. What's up? Okay, so I'm kind of worried about that now, damn it. Okay, keep going now. Right, so far so good. I guess if you really are brave, you can probably jump down over here. I mean, there's there's, there's something that, that you can jump down on. By all means, do it. What the hell? Thank you, assholes! I didn't expect you all to be right behind me, fucking pricks. Yeah, one by one, assholes. Fuck you all. Wait, noise. Oh, God, give it, give me in there, girl. Oh, this is different. Hmm, sweet. So now we have this thing. 
Oh boy, this thing. It's not hard, but it's a and it's a great place to uh, great place to get a lot of health and a lot of life force gems. If you really want to save yourself the trouble, you can actually do this. It takes a couple of tries, but by all means, it will shorten your. If you really just want to get to the end and get the fuck out of here, you can actually do a little thing called. You can do some Donkey Kong Country uh, influence physics where you can do a little roll or a little uh, walk off the edge and then jump logic. Kind of works out here for the better, but it's really hard to pull off this jump. I mean, it'll probably take me like five to ten times, but as you can see, it got really fucking close there. It's just a matter of running and jumping. And I do mean like run strafing. And that just failed miserably, damn it. Come on. Uh, I might as well do it the old way. I'll just show it, have to show it off another time. Or at least when I get done with this. Because I want to really show this off, because... Of course we have assholes somehow in this dimension, what the hell. So yeah, I have to worry about the enemies here, because they will take pot shots at you while you're trying to do your little balancing act. Kind of dangerous, and the only disbenefit of doing this with nine lives, holy shit, is that you're going to have all these life gems, or force gems that you can't collect. Why keep calling them gems? They're fucking triangles, for God's sakes. Might as well call them Triforce pieces. And of course, these ever so wonderful platforming here. Very tricky. Fuck. Shit, man. And of course, these poles are getting s very are getting less and less wider. So you're gonna have to really. And there's little gaps in between. So you're gonna really have to. You're really getting challenged here. Oh wow! What the hell? Shit. And of course we got more of those little platforms. Wait for them to rise up before jumping on like or otherwise you could see what I had happen to me earlier. Okay. Ah oh, shit. Right at the end. Fuck. Alright, well I might as well show off that trick now. Cause there is a way to get over here. I've actually done this. Fuck. It's gonna probably take a couple of times. So you have to pretty much just kinda time you pretty much just have to run off the edge and then jump at the right time. If you do that, you can actually make that jump, and you can skip, like, everything. Almost. Damn it. So it's gonna take me a couple tries. Damn it. Oh my god, I can't... Okay, if I can't get this... Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, it's this is gonna slow me drive. The insane crap. So tell you what, guys. Let me just get to the point where I actually make it. If not, I'll be like, head, hangs my head, or hangs head in shame. I fucked up. Wow, this, this is gonna actually drive me insane. Even though I'd actually done it, unless it was like a fucking miracle, like frame by frame. Damn it. I can't have that. I couldn't have been that fucking lucky. This isn't that impossible to make. Please? Oh, God. There we go. We made it. Fuck yes. And this is how you skip the whole area if you really want to. Just a nice little uh, running jump. And of course I get greeted with assholes surrounding me and beating me with sticks and poles. Pricks. Okay. What the fuck? Oh my god, where the hell are you? Oh, over here, prick. Sup? Man, this is what I hate about this level. All these guys that can be popping up out of nowhere and just saying, Sup, bitch. Freaking blow dart upside your face. Evil move by the game here. Yeah. Wow, we're 15 minutes in this video. And of course, the fact that these guys do this lovely little respawn trick. Fuck you all. Alright, now I remember what I was doing. I was trying to get over here, but these assholes... God, two priests in one's place. Of course, my accuracy is not helping at all. There we go, girl. And I think this is just full health. I didn't need full health, game. Oh well. And great, you guys are coming back. Whoa! 
So yeah, you really gotta be careful around this area. These guys, because enemies respawn a lot here. Fuck you. Oh, frick. Okay, so far so good, I guess. Better get back on the, the right path. Then I, again, I don't really know what the right path is anymore. There's just so much running around that I did earlier, but it's, that's just all fucking confusing to me. Sup, bitch? Oh, of course you have to be this kind of guy. Fuck you. Do do all that for tech arrows, huh? That was a waste. Cry. Damn it. Thought that was gonna actually work. Okay, let's try hitting this button again. Because <clears throat> I guess this thing pops up if you walk away. Kinda interesting to know. Do do. Go down the steps real fast, see if we can find something here. Like maybe another key, I hope. Or back to the freaking checkpoint. Okay, that's nice. Let's go left. I don't like this. Oh crap, I gotta fight this guy on a fucking small ass bridge with no railings. Bullshit game. Fuck off. You can be a freaking nice statistic of what happens when you don't put railings on your freaking uh walkways and whatnot. Fuck you, fuck you. Give me that damn clip. Oh, and of course we have this part. We're gonna have to mar start making good jumps here. And yes, these plat these little stone pillars do raise up, so don't be worried that you're gonna have to make a super high-ass jump to get up here. The game will gladly provide you with a good, a good easy jump of going across plat or pillars. Oh God. Of course, even then they're pretty close to you dying. Freaking nice run jump here just to make it easier. Oh great, and your ass pops up. Let's just do this. Yeah, fucking two grenades is all it fucking takes to kill that guy. And do you don't have any grenades on you? Damn it. That sucks. Okay. Well that was close. Thought he was jumping down into like a dead pit or something. But yes, there is actually shit in this in this little spot, so please take advantage of it. And of course, I got BB minigun ammo. Fuck yes. Okay, what was down here? I would hope there would be a cam key, but no, there's another one of these assholes. Luckily, grenades. Fuck you. Fuck you. God, those things are really good. So yeah, as you can see, your grenade launcher is great in this game. Whoa. That was some serious fucking lag there. What the hell? Game, what are you doing today? Oh, thought you would be running at thir at least 30 frames per second, not two. Oh, sudden dick on the top of the steps. Fuck off. And sudden dick accuracy to follow it. Damn it. <clears throat> Alright, so that was a interesting stop of... Oh, there's a guy up there to kill my 25 health. I would possibly be getting fun. I love when the game does that. So yeah, explore this area a bit. I think there is a nice couple of spots where you can get more fucking guy with pulse rifle action. Too bad you aren't the one dealing it back. Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> Dude. And we are still not gotten to a save point yet. Damn it, we need to fix that soon. We need to get to a stopping point fast. Fuck. Oh, suddenly, guys. What's up? Okay, of course, there's some more guys in here. Kill them real fast. Get some more health. Girl. Anybody in here? Nothing. Absolutely empty. There's a guy behind here, though. Clever game. It's like, oh, you would be you'd be wise to check inside it, but not behind it. <laughs> Aw, damn it. Again. Wow, it only takes eight shots. This just makes the pulse rifle look like the, the, the alien gun look like total ass, man. That's depressing, honestly. I mean, you would think, oh, I got a stronger weapon, it should kick more out. Oh, you. Oh, grenades. Grenades bouncing off the fucking visible wall there. Yeah, you're not doing that spell casting, bitch. And we got a save point. Good timing, game. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it. And next time, guys, we'll explore more of the treetop village. And it's ever so lovable dickery. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. And adios.